This is the new Audi A3 Saloon, and as you can probably tell, it's exactly the same as the A3 Sportback, only with a more traditional boot lid that'll no doubt appeal to the executive buyer. You've probably also noticed that it's quite a smart looking thing, and we're happy to report, it looks just as good on the inside as well. The A3 Saloon occupies a relatively niche segment of the market, given that it's based on hatchback underpinnings, namely the Volkswagen Golf. But there are some notable rivals that have been looking to give the A3 a run for its money. Arguably, its biggest challenger will be the new BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe, which arrives in showrooms in 2020. Let's compare the stats of the two compact saloons and see which one comes out on top. We're going to start things off with the A3 Saloon, as it's the newest of the two. While some criticise Audi's range for having little differentiation, they basically all look the same, there's no denying that the company makes some pretty good looking cars, and we'd argue the new A3 Saloon is one of the very best. It's sleek, muscular, and in true Audi fashion, inherently sporty. There's something almost retro about the looks, and it reminds us of the A4 Super Touring cars of the late 1990s. Audi says the muscular looks are inspired by the Lamborghini Countach, which admittedly we're struggling to see here, but there's no doubt this is a very good looking saloon. On to the 2 Series Grand Coupe and, oh dear, what happened here BMW? Now we're not here to have a go at the gawping grille, which isn't nearly as bad as the 7 Series, but the proportions are all over the place. The front end is bulbous and makes the car look very heavy which isn't really what you'd want from a car that's got the word coupe in its name. That's probably because it's based on a front wheel drive platform, despite most models being either rear or four wheel driven, but other car makers do a better job of hiding the front heavy looks of a front wheel drive car. Looks are subjective, but we're handing this one to the A3 Saloon. Tell us we're wrong by leaving us a comment down below. Given that the A3 Saloon is pretty much identical to the Sportback, albeit with a different boot lid, It'll come as little surprise that the cabin is the same as that of its hatchback sibling. That means you get a cabin that is pretty much devoid of buttons, and you instead get two touchscreen panels, a 10.1 inch infotainment display and a 10.25 inch digital instrument cluster that now comes as standard. Audi's infotainment software is magnificent and is one of the most intuitive systems on the market. That being said, it's the latest car to follow the frustrating trend of ditching buttons in favour of touch controls, and there's nothing more annoying than trying to use an infotainment screen while driving down a winding B road. Over to the 2 Series Grand Coupe and things don't really improve much here. Entry level cars get BMW's Live Cockpit Plus, complete with a 9 inch central display and 5 inch digital instrument cluster. However, Cars prefixed with an M badge get the Live Cockpit Pro system, which ups the screen size of both the infotainment display and instrument panel to 10 inches. Crucially though, you get a rotary dial in the center console that lets you navigate through the infotainment system without blindingly pressing the dashboard because you're too busy keeping an eye on the road ahead. But we're handing this one to the Audi again because you get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto thrown in for free at launch. You only get Apple CarPlay in the 2 Series Grand Coupe, but BMW plans to add Android Auto by the end of the year. If we're going on performance alone, the 2 Series Grand Coupe takes the crown. At launch, you can spec your Grand Coupe in M235i form, which comes equipped with a 2.0-litre turbo engine that sends 302 brake horsepower to all four wheels. There are no hybrid models on offer just yet, although we're expecting a plug-in hybrid to join the range at some point. You do get a mix of petrol and diesel models that, while not quite as potent, should be easier on your wallet. The most powerful A3 saloon available at launch will be badged the 35 TFSI, and it's a mild hybrid too. The 35 TFSI is powered by a 1.5 litre petrol engine that's connected to an electric motor for a combined output of 148 brake horsepower. You can also opt for the 35 TDI, which comes with a 2 litre diesel motor and drops the hybrid tech. So the 2 Series Grand Coupe wins this round of top trumps, but we're expecting hotter S3 and RS3 versions of Audi Saloon to join the range at a later date. 
The S3 will match the M235i on power, while the RS3 should deliver in excess of 400 brake horsepower. Performance aside, we think the A3 Saloon comes out as the winner of our battle of the stats, and with prices expected to start at £25,000, it should undercut the BMW by about a grand. But we won't know the real winner until we can put both cars to the test once the coronavirus lockdown finally lifts. In the meantime, you can catch up with all the latest car news and reviews by heading over to yesauto.com.